Today's video is a combination between a Lolita vlog, a lookbook, and a general thoughts video on daily Lolita. So now that it's summer, the weather has been pretty good recently and the smoke has cleared from my province, which is great for me because I really suffer from the poor quality air that we've had in recent weeks. And now that I feel like I have sufficiently recovered from that, I wanted to challenge myself to wear Lolita daily for a whole week. I have been wearing Lolita fashion for over 15 years now and there are a few years where I was consistently a daily Lolita. However, it has really tapered off in recent years to the point where I wear Lolita about two to three times a week and for the past couple years or so, I actually don't document all of the coordinates that I wear. I thought this would be really interesting content to create around, especially if you want to become a lifestyle Lolita and wear Lolita on a daily basis. I wanted to talk and share my experiences and challenges about wearing Lolita on the daily and I thought it'd be really fun to combine it with a vlog. I thought this week would be the perfect week since I work shift work so that means my schedule isn't set and it does change however this week surprisingly I only work three out of seven days and that just means that there's a little bit more time for me to focus on creating content like this. So I hope you'll enjoy this video and I also hope that I'll make it to the end of the week. For the first day it is a Monday and I am at home all day today Today, working on editing videos and watching dramas. So for today I decided to wear a dress that I haven't worn in a really long time and that is Angelic Pretty's Astro Regimen. I paired it with a blouse I also haven't worn in a very long time from Innocent World. It is a chiffon piece with a higher neck collar. I was really excited to wear these new pair of socks that I just recently got from a sock lot and while I'm wearing shoes indoors it's only for photos and I actually wore slippers for the rest of today. A highlight of this coordinate is definitely the neck bow. These are actually waist ties that I have tied into a little bow and it just gives a little bit more of an accent and really pulls together the whole coordinate. What makes this coordinate super comfy is the fact that the back of this JSK is fully sheared, making it easier to breathe and expand in case you eat too much for lunch. And also the blouse has buttons, so you are able to unbutton the cuffs so that they're really not cutting off your arm circulation. And with those two design factors, it makes today's coordinates so much easier to wear for long periods of time, especially at home where you just want to be comfortable. So that is it for the first day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello! It is day two. And after I finished working, I quickly changed into my Lolita coordinate and went grocery shopping because today is customer appreciation day at Safeway. With grocery prices being so high, you gotta get every savings that you possibly can. So the coordinate for today is very comfy and casual and it's quite quick and easy to put on. The OP that I'm wearing is Innocent World Strawberry Tarte OP. I put on a basic head bow so that it is a little bit more subdued. But there isn't much I can do. Standing out like a sore thumb because I'm literally wearing such a bright color. I did get a really nice comment from a lady in the grocery store so that was lovely. I actually wore a sweater because AC in grocery stores tend to be cranked up to the maximum and my arms get cold so I wore a sweater despite the fact that it is almost 33 outside.
It's the sort of easy to coordinate dresses and pieces that make it easier to wear Lolita on the daily even if you aren't wearing it for long periods of time. Alright, so that's gonna be it for today's update. I will see you guys for day three, which is another day of working. Alright, it's day three. I actually finished work earlier than yesterday, so today's coordinate shots have better lighting than it did yesterday, and that's just the reality of trying to film and document things daily without a set schedule. For today, I decided to go casual once again because I'm changing straight out of my work uniform into my coordinate. So I wanted something that wasn't gonna stand out and once again be comfortable and easy enough to change into. So I haven't worn this Lurigata dress. It has full sharing in the back, which makes it quite comfortable. And I am wearing a chiffon blouse for today because chiffon doesn't wrinkle as easily as cotton. And I literally stuffed the blouse and this dress into my bag. That was something I learned from yesterday, seeing all the wrinkles on my one piece and today there isn't that many wrinkles because of the materials that I chose. Though I gotta say wearing chiffon when it's like 30 degrees outside is a bit much. This might be a bit TMI but I feel like I'm not able to fully ventilate properly when I'm wearing a full chiffon coordinate at least in comparison to cotton so pros and cons of polyester. Before I went home, I went to the library to pick up a few new books and I thought I'd get more reactions at the library, but funny enough, I didn't. That's it for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day four. Hello, it is day four, and today I actually have work in the afternoon. So this morning, I got all dressed up just to take photos and to read a little bit in Lolita. If I wasn't doing this challenge, I wouldn't be wearing Lolita on days like this where I work late at night. I feel like it's just not worth it to wear Lolita for a couple hours. Today's coordinate is a little bit more old school, just because I've been seeing a lot of black and white coordinates on my Instagram feed, so I really wanted to wear something black and white. I'm wearing my favorite baby the star shine bright, take a walk with Usakumi at JSK, the pom pom trim is to die for, and my favorite old school accessories, which is the black and white head eating head bow. I've also tied up my hair so that it's off my neck because the weather forecast today projected it's going to be about 30 degrees Celsius and it's already very hot in my room. Of course, since I'm just staying inside, I am wearing my Usakumiya slippers, which really matches with the Usakumiya patch on this JSK. The takeaway for me today is that I should wear Lolita whenever I like. If I wanted to make wearing Lolita a priority, I would take the time to actually put on a coordinate. No pressure. I don't have to wear Lolita every day just because I say that I'm a daily Lolita or a lifestyle Lolita. There's still a lot of joy in wearing what you like, even if you are only able to wear it for a couple hours.
that'll be it for day four, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello! It's day five, and it's the end of the day, hence why the hair looks very messy now. Today was a busy day filled with shopping for last minute things at the mall for my sister who was going on a study abroad next week so we had to get a couple things for her. Due to that I decided to wear one of my most comfy coordinates because I was expecting to do a lot of walking and the mall AC is a little cold for me. So I went for something super easy with Angelic Pretty's lovely gingham check Cutso OP sweater dress. This is a really comfortable piece and I think the key point to this coordinate is the peaking bloomers which is super cute. I matched this with my most comfortable pair of shoes which is Crocs and for today I did around 11,543 steps which is a lot and I had no problem with the whole time with this coordinate. Overheating wasn't really an issue despite the weather being 33 degrees Celsius today which is great. I love the fact that I can just roll up the sleeves to help regulate heat and with the hair up it really helps with the heat regulation as well. it for today and I will see you guys tomorrow for a, another fun day. Hello! It is day six. I am headed out today to my sister's clinic to help her put together some tea bags. So for today it is another simple, comfy, casual coordinate. I haven't worn this innocent world dress in a while but it is an A-line skirt so that makes it a lot more comfortable to wear. I think for today seeing all of the coordinates that I have worn so far this week, I think you can really tell that the pieces that I have in my wardrobe really suit my own lifestyle and what I'm looking for. So that was day six. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last day. Hello! Today's the last day of the Daily Lolita Challenge and today's an exciting day because I'm heading off to a super cute art market and I'm very excited to see all the cute art that this market has to offer. Today I'm wearing one of my favorite summer series which is Baby the Starshine Bride's Cheerful Lemon series. I paired it with my favorite boater hat for the summer and I also paired along my yellow usakunya to really brighten up this coordinate. So that is today's coordinate and let's head off to the market.
was a really fun market and I'm really excited for the next installment which won't happen till December. So with that, that is the end of this daily Lolita challenge. So some things that I've learned this week is that you should be fitting Lolita around your own lifestyle. Not everybody can wear daily Lolita and just because you don't wear daily Lolita every day does not necessarily mean that you aren't a lifestyle Lolita. Another thing is that while Lolita might be impractical to get in, wearing it can be quite easy based on the pieces that you wear. So I wore a lot of OPs this week, which made changing into and out of very easy. I'm really thankful that I have a very diverse wardrobe so that I can pick a style and piece that will suit the activities that I'll be doing throughout the day. And the last thing that I really noted for myself this week is that I received a lot more positive comments than I did negative ones. And I don't know if I'm going to contribute that to me being a lone leader, just going out by myself. There were a lot more positive ones than negative ones, which is quite surprising. With those findings, that is going to be it for today's video. Let me know if you have tried being a daily Lolita and what sort of challenges that you faced while wearing Lolita on the daily. I'd love to hear all about other people's experiences. I do recognize that I'm privileged in having a larger wardrobe and living in a not so crowded city where there's a lower chance of me getting harassed on the streets for wearing Lolita. But I really want to hear your own experiences about wearing Lolita on the daily. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!